No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and you shall refute every tongue that rises up against you, for this is their heritage in me, from whom their vindication comes, the Lord. That's Isaiah 54, 17. And I was reading the book of Daniel this morning and just reminded that Daniel was faithful even in captivity, even in his slavery to first Nebuchadnezzar, then Belshazzar, eventually King Darius, uh, saw how spiritually gifted and how in tune he was with the Most High God. And he put him, actually it was Belshazzar that put him at the third highest position and cloaked him in purple when he read the, the hand that wrote on the window, basically was mean, mean, tekel uh, something, mean, mean, tekel parson. And uh, that it's where we get an often used line today. You have been weighed, you have been measured, you have been found wanting or deficient. Um, I first heard that movie in A Knight's Tale. But so much of what we hear today is from Scripture and it has meaning. But the point being what's relevant to today is there's a lot of weapons being formed against us. Us being believers, being faithful followers of the way of the Lord shown to us through Jesus Christ. And uh, Daniel was so faithful that he was so trustworthy, there was no corruption in him, that the administrators, the satraps, the prideful servants of King Darius, um, couldn't find anything to get him out of the way because Daniel was like a thorn in their side. They wanted the position that he had, so they, they went to the king and they said, you need to make a law that says nobody can worship any other god except for you, King Darius. King Darius, being the flawed human that he is, bought the lie, and um, he signed it into a decree that anyone caught worshiping any other god or man other than him would be thrown into the den of lions. And sure enough, uh, they found Daniel praying to his god, facing Jerusalem from the window in his tower room, and they told the king, and the king was greatly distraught. He realized that he had kind of been hoodwinked. Because he did not want to kill Daniel, but he had to because, you know, your word is what gives you your integrity, your, your credibility. So he told Daniel, I hope that your God saves you. And sure enough, he did. And then he threw the satraps and the administrators into the dead alliance because no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And your vindication is in the Lord. But to have that kind of faith, I pray for that kind of faith of Daniel. I think we all should. But the reality is, in this world, if you stand up on God's law, if you stand for any of God's laws and you're faithful to God, there is modern-day satraps and administrators in every level of politics and every level of government all over the world that are creating laws that force us to go against God's law and thereby having a den of lions. You know, it's no coincidence, 1 Peter 5 says, the devil roars and prowls like a roaring lion. Uh, he prowls like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. And all those children of disobedience following him, basically his minions in this world, will be the lions that will maul those that are standing in their faith to death. So we need to be aware of that. And um, great tribulations are coming. There's a, there's a lot of things coming. But... We have the faith in the Lord that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Isaiah 21, 12, the dire vision is declared to me. The traitor still betrays and the destroyer still destroys. Go up, O Elam. Lay siege, O media. I will put an end to all her groaning. The Lord is our Savior. Our peace is in him. Our kingdom is not of this world. It's with him in the kingdom of heaven, which is to come. We're spiritual beings living a human experience. We are going to have persecution if we stand up for the things of God just like Daniel did. I pray you take strength in the Word of God, in prayer, and in fellowship, being around other like-minded people. But we got to be amongst the, the rest of the world, too, to be the salt and the light. But we got to edify in the Word and uh, have courage to face the day that's coming. God bless you. See you tomorrow.